Hey guys, it's Aaron Heiser of Maker's Leather Supply. Welcome to another build video. Um, in this build video, we are going to be working on the um, Livestock Commissioner's Bag. Hang on just a second, I'm trying to flip this camera around for it. There it goes. All right, so this was the initial Livestock Commissioner's Bag that I made right here. We've done some modifications before we put out the pattern for it. Um, one of the modifications we did was to make it to where it uh, it didn't have the two locks fasteners on it instead it has one magnetic clasp right here in the middle um, the two locks fasteners are still a viable option I just I wanted to do something different because we put a lot of these locks fasteners on bags and I do like to do variety once in a while um, this one is made with a real gator uh, flap and it took a really big gator to cut a piece that large out of um, Flap goes down into the back pocket. Uh, it's got two hooks on it for uh, the shoulder strap. Big back pocket. Um, I love these big back pockets when I'm traveling and stuff to be able to stuff uh, airline tickets and, and paperwork in and stuff without having to open the bag. Um, so I'm, I'm real big about briefcases and, and uh, bags like that having that kind of pocket on it. Um, otherwise, when we open it up here, I'm not sure what all's in here. I've been carrying it around, so. Um, anyway, when we open it up here, it's got this front expandable pocket, okay? And then um, it's got a couple of different layers in it with this uh, um, accordion-style gusset, okay? And we're gonna talk about all of those in the build videos. Um, today's video is just gonna be an introduction to the bag and cutting out all the pieces. Um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna start actually building this. I apologize so much. I know that this bag came out in the last mystery box and I, I am so sorry that it's taken so long to get to the videos on this guys. Um, we, we had a really bad experience here in the shop with the Rona and uh, some other things have, have kind of held us back too. Um, but I'm going to talk about the, the bag I'm making for the video here. I already did a little bit of work because I wanted to do this this big flap here with my big army star inlay on it. I'm making the entire bag out of the, the OD green and the brown colors. The, the, the flap will be the brown part and uh, the bag body and everything will be the OD green. But I just wanted to talk to you real quick about some things I did when I cut it out. Um, one, this flap, if you look at the pattern and the flap itself, I, um, I made the, uh, the flap two inches longer than the pattern okay i'm not saying that the pattern is is not right the pattern is fine but i like for the big flap to go down into the back pocket okay and if you don't add those two inches then it's going to stop above the back pocket and since i'm doing it a different color i want it to go down into the pocket and it gives it a more finished look um, if you're not doing it out of different colors again it's fine if it stops way up here um, it, it just uh, again well, since I'm doing the the brown I want it to go down into the pocket and it will have a, a more finished look um, so here is my uh, front pocket that will have the gut the uh, the fold lines in it don't um, don't uh, gouge those fold lines until we do it on the video um, if you have this pattern in your hands already um, because I want to talk to you about it while you do it um, this is the back pocket piece Okay, we've got three main body pieces, so the front, the middle divider, and the back. Okay, um, this is the one thing I did screw up on the pattern, the front panel uh, bottom cover. Um, it's not on the original pattern, and then I was an idiot when I, when I finalized the, uh, the paper pattern. It should not have rounded edges, okay, like the flap does. It should be squared like the body of the bag, okay? So um, I apologize for that. Future ones that I have printed will have it correct, but the ones that we sent out for the mystery box, unfortunately, are already out. Um, these gusset pieces, in the next video, we'll talk about how to gouge that channel right there. And uh, like I said, let me go back to the original bag. That's where they'll sew around the centerpiece to do that accordion gusset, okay? Um, so we've got one of the bottom gusset here and two of the side gussets. All right, um, we have two strap hangers. Um, as I said already though, I actually sewed them onto my flap already because I wanted to sew them on before I lined my flap. I did a lining on it one, for two reasons. One, I like my flap to be heavier um, and more rigid. And then two, I wanted to be able to cover up the back of all that, uh, 
all that inlay mess there because otherwise that would be very ugly on the back of that inlay. Um, I can do a video someday where I do a uh, an inlay like that if people comment that that's something they would like. That's more than fine. Um, and then we've got our handle reinforcement right here and we've got a couple of uh, or we've got a big brown strap uh, that will make the handle and the shoulder strap and stuff like that out of. So flip this thing back around here. There we are. Um, so that's the introduction to the, uh, we're calling it the Livestock Commissioner's Bag. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I finally started watching Yellowstone, and it is a pretty bad A show. Um, everybody was always talking about it, and I thought, eh, it can't be that great, but no, pretty dang good show. And I didn't want to call it the Dutton or the Yellowstone or some obvious crap like that. So it's the Livestock Commissioner's Bag. All right, so uh, again, tomorrow I'm going to start putting this thing together, and uh, we'll do a couple of build videos on it, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I uh, appreciate y'all's patience waiting on this. Again, people that have been holding on to this mystery box, this video is about a month overdue, and I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Um, but we're, we're getting past it, and we're catching back up, and we're going to be right back on track soon. So, again, um, Aaron Heiser, Maker's Leather Supply, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.